Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope you consider liking and subscribing if you do like the content. So today I kind of want to do a mix of a full face of rare beauty and like a three looks one palette situation the palette that i'm going to be focusing on is their recently launched discovery palette and i open it up so you guys can see the inside i definitely love these crescent shapes of the pan i think this is so pretty and you can use these colors every day day and night um, so i really do like this palette i've used it for a while now um, since they've launched it um, so we're gonna do that and as usual, I'm going to put um, timestamps of each look in the comment section and then feel free to stick around. I'll be releasing a video soon um, showcasing my full collection of Rare Beauty. I don't have everything, but I do have a pretty hefty um, collection of it. So stick around for that. So I am going to start moisturizing my face first. It feels a pr pretty dry. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, the product that I am using is the Daily Face Moisturizer from ColourPop Cosmetics, um, but their sister brand, Fourth Ray Beauty. And then I'm just going to real quick do my brows. Um, I Rare Beauty does have brow products, but unfortunately I don't have any of them. Um, so I'm just going to use my M Cosmetics Deep Taupe and the Universal Taupe Brow Cream. Um, this is a pretty standard step in usage in my day-to-day, -day, so nothing new here. And that is brows done. Like I said, I'm just doing the same thing I normally do. Nothing fancy. I just fill them in and keep it rolling. So the first look that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit because I know I said I'm mostly going to use just the Discovery palette. Um, this is more of a tribute to like an everyday look um, that I would wear if I'm grabbing um, this palette or even the liquid eyeshadow. Um, this is like an everyday look. So this is the Nearly Apricot Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, and I have the matching blush to go with it too, but I typically grab this and instead of using the eye primer that they have, I use this kind of as a base and a primer. So I'm gonna build this on my eye. And you can build this product up um, pretty well too. So I'm just gonna start off with a small bit. And this is the eyeshadow brush that they have as well. Um, I really like how it's shaped and it really helps to blend this liquid eyeshadow in. And that's that. So next, what I like to do when I'm using this liquid eyeshadow is come in with this kind of duochrome shade. Um, this is shade Passionate. And you can't really tell, but it kind of is a pinkish gold orangey duochrome. Um, and I really like this. It looks really nice on top of the liquid eyeshadow. Um, so that's um, a big reason why I use that. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just swatch the product out. And now showed up. You can kind of see the duochrome there. But what I do is I just take my finger and then I just blot it on top of the shade. All right, and that's pretty much just what I do as far as eyeshadow goes. I'll go ahead and put some eyeliner on and then some mascara and that's it for the eyes. So um, just a pretty quick look that you can do at any point throughout the day um, and walk out the door. You can even keep these products in your purse um, with a little brush or your finger and call it a day. So I'm going to do my eyeliner real quick and then we'll move on to face and then we'll round out, round out the look. And those are eyes and that's it. I didn't really want it to be a super dramatic look. Like I said, this is something that you can just do every day. Um, spend a couple minutes on it and or you can do it on the go. Okay, so I let the pore diffusing primer sit for a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my two concealers. Um, 
I kind of use one of them as more of like a brightening and the other one as more of a actual shade tone. The lighter one is shade 320W, which is the first concealer and foundation shade that I bought. And then later I bought 380W in the foundation and concealer, just because I sometimes have a hard time finding an exact match for my skin. So I've been mixing these two pretty well and they seem to work out for me. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. All right, and then I'm using 320W here on the inside, the lighter shade, and I'm using 380W everywhere else just to kind of balance out my skin. And then I am going to take my um, concealer brush from Rare Beauty 2 and do that. And I'm actually just gonna start down here. Baby, tell me now. To me, when using these products, less is more. There's really not a need to use a lot of the shades because they're so pigmented that it's not necessary. All right, I know I probably look a little crazy, but that's okay because we're gonna blend it out. So when it comes to the foundation, um, I like to kind of take just a tiny bit of each color or each shade. So I'm gonna take 320W, that's the little one, 320W. And then I'm gonna take 380W right next to it. and then just blend them out and then of course i'm using the foundation brush from rare beauty and that is it for foundation um i actually really like this foundation i probably don't even need to use as much as i just did um, because it just kind of shears out and covers everything I don't really care for full coverage. I just want something to kind of even out my skin tone. Um, so it definitely did that. And then lastly, before I set to my face, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Melting Blush in shade Nearly Apricot. Sometimes I apply my blush before foundation, but since this is kind of like a cream to powder formula, I am actually just going to apply it after and set my face. And I'm just using, this is another one of their foundation brushes, but I actually bought a second one so I could use it for um, blush application and it works wonderfully. I use this every single time. So I'm just going to dab the product. Then let me grab my mirror. And I actually put on a lot. <laughs> but it just goes on so smoothly and it's actually quite pigmented. So I love this. Even when I'm just wearing a bare face with no foundation, I love using this. And this is another thing that you can just put in your purse and go on about your day. And that is blush, just a nice little subtle pop of color. I really do love this color and it very much complements the liquid eyeshadow in the same shade, Nearly Apricot. So that is that. And then real quick, I am going to apply my highlighter. It is their Liquid Luminizer Highlighter. Um, I have three shades, but the shade that I have here is shade Transcend and these are also very pigmented. So I am just going to pop a couple dots on. I'm just gonna pop a dot here and a dot here, and then grab some more and then pop a dot here and a dot here. And I just use my, the same brush I use for blush and just blend that out. And that is it for my face. Um, like I said, this actually takes me no more than 15 minutes max when I'm doing this just on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but it's probably taking a little bit longer here. But this, we're good to go. Only thing left um, is lips. And let's see. 
Well, before I do that, let's actually set my face. Sometimes I set my face, sometimes I don't. But this is the Blot and Glow kit. So this is a pre-puff that has translucent powder in it. And these are little blotting strips um, that you can use to wipe off excess oil. I'm just going to take the little puff and just run it over my face. I actually had to go dig this out of my purse because I keep this in my purse, especially for the blotting strips. Um, so I wish maybe that they had just the actual translucent powder by itself. And then I would keep that with my makeup supplies at my desk. And just wipe that over. And then there's that. I still do prefer kind of a, a dewier look. So, and my skin's also pretty oily. I have combination skin. So I expect for it to look dewy, but I'm a-okay with that. Um, if you don't, then you just might want to make sure that you set your face so you don't have to worry about that. So as far as lips go, I only have three products and I don't really think that they're going to blend well with this, but we'll try it anyway. Um, this is shade Brave, which is a muted terracotta. And then this is shade Thrilling in their Lip Souffle. Um, this is a brown. I think what I'm going to do is put the brown on and then I'm going to have to use my M Cosmetics. This is the Magic Hour shade and just kind of go over that um, just to kind of blend with the color story. I'm just going ahead and use the Lip Souffle and I'm not going to line my lips today like I normally do. I'm just going to go straight in with the product. take a little bit of this magic hour and blot it on top and that is that you guys that is that. So um, I'll make sure to list all of the products for each look in the description below, just so you guys have that for reference. But this is look number one, just a quick little 10, 15 minute look and you're out the door. All right, so let's go ahead and do look number two. Um, I took off everything but my brow, so I'll be reapplying everything. And I also did um, reapply my moisturizer, which is the same as what I just used. Um, like I said, um, all products are going to be listed in the description per look um, in case you all want to reference that. So I am going to now go in with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. And this is probably one of my favorite primers out right now. I literally use this every single time I do my eyeshadow. And I'm just using the concealer brush to blend this out. And then I'm going to go in with shade Genuine right here, um, right into my crease. So let me And this shade actually blends right into my skin, which is, I mean, what I want. But if you can't see it, that's because it's literally matching my undertones. And that's that for shade Genuine. It's genuinely not there. All right, I'm going to go in with shade Undeniable right here. I mean, it's kind of like a grayish brown. I'm just going to take that on um, the outer portion of my eye. So let me grab another brush. Do 
All right, and that is undeniable. The next shade that I am going to go in with is this pure gold here, which is named pure. Um, and I'm just gonna take that all over my lid and then a little here under the lash line on my finger. Look at that, you guys. Look at how pigmented that is. Look at how gold that is. And I'm just going to Pat it on my eye. I'm gonna take a smaller brush just so I can get the inner corner of my eye and put that here. And then just kind of expand that out. Yes, we want it real gold today. Gold is one of my favorite colors. So I'm sorry if you see that often on the channel. It's what I like. I'm going to take this glitter shade here in the middle, which is called Accepting. And I'm just going to put that um, over pretty much where I just put the gold at. And this is what it looks like. I'm only taking just a little bit as I can. I'm just gonna pat it on. All right, and that is it for eyes. I just went on ahead and put on my eyeliner and my mascara. Um, and then really quickly, I already put on my pore diffusing primer. So I'm just gonna go in real quick with some concealer. Um, this is shade 380W. I'm just gonna take a little bit. I, um, all in one Optimus setting mist from Rare Beauty and just spray that on real quick before I blend it out. So let me just go on ahead and blend the concealer out. So I just blended out the concealer um, and sometimes I apply my blush before my foundation. I typically do it when they're like these thicker cream products. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty um, liquid blush and this is in shade Love. And this is what it looks like. So if you haven't seen a video of mine before using these, you do not need a lot of this. You do not. You just take like a dot, like even that's a lot. And I'm probably just going to start with the one dot. So let's just take the one dot. I'm going to take my foundation brush my that I use for concealer and then blend that out. Like, do you see all that color that came out just from one dot? You don't need a lot of this. All right, and then I'm gonna line my lips with the BFF3 shade Lippy Pencil from ColourPop. You take the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle in shade Brave. that is it so let me know if you guys like this look and check back with me and let's do look number three so i realized i didn't do highlighter and that's a necessity so i'm taking shade outshine which is a pure gold as well i'm just going to blot that here Now 
we're done with the look. Definitely can't believe I forgot to apply highlighter, you guys. What? Yeah, so now let's go ahead and get prepped for look number three. All right, guys, so now we're on look three. I went on ahead and um, prepped my face and then also just put on my eye primer. So I'm just gonna go straight in. I'm using shade Genuine and my crease. And then I'm going to use a new shade that I haven't used before, which is this shade right here. It's Loyal. It's a brown. I would call this more of like a, mm, I can't tell if it's like a warm or a cool tone brown. Um, it just looks brown to me. So I'm going to use that. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's like patchy for some reason. This this shade, Loyal and Undeniable, are like the only ones that I have any kind of issue with whatsoever. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and see if I can fill that in. Like I... This is why I really I don't use these two shades as often as the other ones, but sometimes it can be a little patchy. And I'm going to take shade positive, which is right here next to loyal, and just swipe that all over my lid. And of course, I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to take just a small brush with positive um, just so I can get the inner corner. All right, so that is it for eyes. I'm now just going to go straight in with blush and I don't actually have a full size of this. This is one of the samples that they had. Um, this is the Soft Pinch Blush in shade Bliss. And I wanted to try this out um, just to see how it would look on my skin. So I'm just going to dab in here. It's definitely a lot pinker than what I would normally go for. Just blend that out with our blush brush. It's actually just kind of blending straight into my skin. Yeah, that blended pretty much into my skin. I want to take shade Love now, the soft pinch as well. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on here. What I'm going to do is add my highlighter and this shade that I have here is Flaunt. I'm going to put on my foundation and I'll be right back. All right, so I have put on my blush and my highlighter, um, and I just put on some setting mist, and I'm gonna go in with the Thrilling Lip Souffle again. 
No liner this time though. Now just for an added pop of color on the lips, I'm gonna go in with the M Cosmetics Cashmere Creme Infinite Lip Cloud. I'm just gonna dab that a little bit on the top. And that is it for look number three. As usual, products are gonna be in the description under each look. Let me know what you guys think about this and stay tuned because I'll be releasing a what's in my collection um, version of Rare Beauty. So be sure to check that out um, and I'll have it linked as well at the end of the video. So let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.